This week has been bad. And I really had to struggle to come any closer in reaching my four creative goals before I reach 40. Before I go into why this week has been bad, I want to focus on something positive. And this week it is that we have got a new subscriber from Australia. So I'll put a pin there. It's almost on the other side from where I'm at. And say, uh, good day, mate. So I keep saying that this week has been bad. And uh, I knew it would be a hectic week, but uh, I, I think it's something with the season. I mean, you have like winter and spring and summer but then you have fall. So someone actually named this season fall because they know how it feels. And I know there can be nice days when uh, the sun is shining through the leaves and everything looks golden, but that's like one of 90 days or something here in Sweden. It feels like at least. Then we have the British. And I believe they should kind of have the same kinds of falls that we have, but they call it autumn. And that's a nicer word, but it's, it's still the same. And in Sweden we call it höst. But it's not only that. Um, like physically, I, I played some floorball this uh, Monday and I managed to like sprain my finger or at least hurt it and it's been hurting all week and five minutes into that match i was playing i actually managed to like strain my buttock <laughs> and i didn't even know you could do that but it hurt so much and uh, now i'm getting a thick throat so i might be getting sick but that's not all, because I've kind of been looking forward to an opportunity that I was expecting might show up, and uh, this week it did. So I actively started to pursue it, but was stopped dead in the tracks. And that was aw awful this Wednesday. Um, but I recouped and uh, like made a new try this Thursday and it was the same thing again. So this Thursday I think was the lowest part of this week. It was awful and I like tried to like ignore everything and uh, focus on having fun. So I played some of my favorite games. Um, and it wasn't fun at all. So the only thing I could actually do that I know usually works was to just give in and call it a day. So I went to bed really early and uh, got eight hours of sleep. And actually this Friday then I was fine. School, uh, I guess, have been suffering. We have had another a workshop week this week with focus on um, uh, visual language. We talked about uh, rhythm and uh, like where to start and end scenes, where to uh, put the scene location-wise to uh, emphasize what you want to tell and uh, like using objects uh, to amplify feelings. And I think this is super interesting but I just haven't had the energy to go all in. So everything has kind of been uh, at the bare minimum. I'm, I'm still doing what I'm supposed to, but just barely. Thank God for Friday being productive, because otherwise this weekend would have been awful too. This also means that the emo thriller that I was hoping to finish the outline for um, that haven't been finalized. Uh, it still doesn't do that much, but 
uh, I'll need to do that this week. I I watched a movie yesterday, this Friday, that really gave me energy back, and that was wonderful. It's one of my favorite movies, and if you wonder which one it is, I'm gonna talk about it during the one cool thing in the end of this video. I also managed to edit the video about the emo thriller, so if you want to see how my thought process, how I worked with the ideas and what the synopsis is for the emo thriller, there's now a 12 minute video for you to watch. The new Gears of War game is out and I played that with a friend and it made me interested in sitting with the, the Unreal Engine uh, once again. So I sp have spent some time with that, but mostly just for fun. Yesterday I also went to the Fantastic Film Festival uh, late in the evening to see a film called Origin, which is made here in Skåne by Clement and Hedetoft, two directors that co-directed it and co-wrote it. And I also have a lot of friends who have played a part in the production. It's really inspiring to see projects come together that has been created close to you because it becomes more tangible and uh, it feels like uh, something you could actually achieve. There also was a premiere for a movie which I play a part in yesterday, uh, Haven it's called. Uh, but I really had to stay home and uh, do schoolwork as so I couldn't go to it, which I kind of regret now. But uh, it's nice that it has premiered. So hopefully this week I will have a lot more energy because I worked a little bit more this week, to help out on a project, I get to work a little bit less this week, so I should have plenty of time to sit down and write and uh, do all the assignments that we have. So in school, it's a workshop week, we focus on dialogue, and uh, I find that very hard in like finding the right um, words. And uh, then I need to finalize the outline for the emo thriller. I am supposed to hand that in like next Monday, so I really have to finish it. And also I'm supposed to hand in 10 pages of the script. I mean, it's the first draft, but still you don't want to hand in just anything. And I guess I'm going to do something game related. We'll see if it just means playing around in the Unreal 4 engine a little bit more, or if I'm gonna sit down with Quad uh, and try to straighten out those rules. So as I mentioned, I watched a movie this week, and it's one of my favorite movies that I haven't watched for a while. Uh, the Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's uh, written, directed, and the original book that it's based on is from Steven Shubovsky. And uh, there's some great acting. You have uh, a few really great actors like uh, Logan Lerman, Emma Watson, and um, uh, Ezra Miller in it. And uh, like, I really like the structure, how it all comes together. There's like a main story uh, that I'm perfectly fine with to follow because I think it's uh, beautiful, play, uh, plays out beautifully. But then there's like an extra part and I, uh, I, I really love it. And I'm so impressed of Shabowski, how he... It's like a dream to first write a book and then get to write a script and then get to direct it and make such a good product out of it. That's it. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, write them in the comment section. If you want to more help If you want to continue to follow my process, subscribe and we'll see if I reach my four creative goals before I reach 40. Thanks for watching and see you soon.